Well, hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the Joseph Gray channel. Um, yeah, that was that last video was a little bit taste of you know what this channel is going into now. It's you know I just want to give you guys a little bit more in depth of why I'm doing this is because I think this would be more enjoyable and it's people. You know, it can help people relate instead of having to go off of what someone else has done. Why not do something, you know, only a joke can do? Because <laughs> let's face it, you know, own you, you have like people like me have their own thoughts. I know, kind of stuttering and thinking, but I'm thinking at the same time. But my buddy Ben, like I said in the last video, brought this up and he's like. And it got me to thinking, yeah, I'm the only person that has these, you know, these thoughts. Let's see if there's other similar people that have had similar thoughts. And let's put this out on YouTube instead of doing or copying someone else, which I really wasn't copying. I had different content, but didn't really wasn't the best content. So I was like, what the hell? Let's do this. Let's see how this does. And, you know, this is more enjoyable because, you know things like it's pretty much my perspective on things that happen to me in life and you know my thoughts <sighs> it is the epic shiznit ep epic shiznit that happens inside of my brizzle boom mind blown no just kidding but anyways yeah so just expect you know i'm just going a little bit more in depth just expect a lot of things like this and stuff, not so much me talking about my life, but things that have come up and I've questioned it and thought about it. Those little nuggets of things that I've thought about that I go, hmm, I wonder if anybody else has thought of this or has thought the same way or has looked at this the same way as I have or in a similar fashion. You get what I mean? Because let's face it, if you <laughs> could gather all oh, what I said in that last video, then, you know, you'd understand that that's a unique way of putting it. And this is going to be a two-parter of what my channel is going into. So, let me elaborate on that if you didn't catch what it was. So, basically, what I was saying was, is that society and other people are putting on this mask. And they're expecting other people to put on this mask because they have been sensitized so much and censored and filtered and have been told what to think, what to say, what to wear, how to act. You know, they've been told so much that they need to be this instead of them thinking for themselves of what they need to be. And, you know, in my life, people get really angry at me because I'm not that way. I think for myself. You know, and I have, I've met some people that go, there's people who need to be like that, more like that, you know, because I am honest, I'm controversial, I'm unfiltered, I'm, you know, racially insensitive, you know. Oh, and that was the better word I was looking for. <laughs> that explains it all, um, that racially insensitive, you know. I don't look at the world and as you know the old view way if you guys know anything about history before Galileo had suggested that the world was round people thought it was flat and that's the kind of thinking that has brought today's society into kind of a shithole believe it or not it's the world that is flat you know let's 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 put this theory you know the world is flat and that's the way society views things the world is flat it's not round when actuality is, is there's people like me, like Galileo, you know, take the Galileo approach and go, the world is round. There's not one set thing for us. And it's okay to be, um, you know, unfiltered, not censored, controversial, not politically correct, and racially insensitive. That is okay. Because, you know, the world has been like that for ye centuries. You know, you look back in history and any of that, any of that stuff has <laughs> happened. And during that time, people just go, 
Well, fuck, that's the way it happened, you know, fuck it. But today, you know, in today's society, we look at it and go, no, that's not okay. Which, that in itself, telling someone that, or saying that is not okay, is the not okay part. Because it's really depressing when you got people telling you, you can't be you. And I think if people stopped doing that and started accepting things, you know, such as people are going to be different. People are going to think differently. People are going to say things, different things. You know, people aren't just what society wants them to be and the world would be a better place. You know, that's basically what I was saying. And then to elaborate on that, <laughs> I lost the train of thought, but it will come back. You know, you hate that, you know. But, I myself. Oh, oh yeah, I brought it back. Got it? Got it. So, there's this one philosophy that I live by. You know, accept the things that you cannot change. Change the things you can change. And, you know, move on with your life. Always keep moving forward. Because there's going to be times in your life, and you're going to meet people that you're not necessarily going to like because they said something or they act a certain way, and that is okay. They can act like that, you know, let them act like that because that's not gonna, that's gonna only look bad on them or whatever. But that is okay. You can get upset about that, but don't get overly pissed. Move on, accept that that's the way they are and move on. Let's face it, we've all had coworkers or family members or friends or acquaintances that have been people that we absolutely dislike, but we tolerate them. You know, there's people like me, we accept those types of people because we don't like it when people push their societal views and how you should act and and interact with people. We don't push our views onto them and they tend not to push them on ours. And even, even if we do, we accept them because for the true cunt that they are, <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa, Joe, whoa, you just said a word that's not okay. You know what? Fuck off. <clears throat> but we accept them for that and because we are not douchebags. We go, okay, that's the way they are. We accept them. We get, you know, we either get upset and we accept them, move on, or we just accept that's the way they are, they are and we move on with our lives because they are a small part of our lives. You know, and that's the one thing that I think people miss. Not everybody's going to be a huge part in your life. And it's okay not to... Uh, you know, it's okay to not, you know, go, I like everybody because, or I like what they say, or, you know, they say things that I dislike or, you know, I don't agree with because not everybody's going to have the op same opinion. And like I said in the past video, this is just a recurrence a little bit, that it's okay. It's okay that people are like that because if you're going to meet people like that all the time throughout life. And the one thing is, is you can't, you, you, you can't get overly pissed off about that. Yeah, it's okay to be upset, but if you really think about it, if you spend a lot of time on those people and getting pissed off about what they've said or done, you know, then that's taken away from your life and your happiness. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm saying it's okay to be upset, but not, don't think about it too much. Because when you th keep thinking about that, that's taken away from you personally. And that's giving someone else power that they shouldn't have. And, you know, upset, when I mean upset, you know, they go, oh, you know, I wouldn't have said that, you know, hey, tone it down. You can upset like that, you know, where you, but not overly pissed off where you're going to like, I'm going to strangle this motherfucker. You know, this guy's pissing me off. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying is, is upset's okay, you know, hey, fuck, you know, I, I can tolerate them, that's it. <laughs> you know, they're not, you, you know, you're not gonna wanna fucking high five them in the face with a fucking metal chair, let's face it now, that's not what I mean, but, because when you start thinking like that all the time, and you, you meet those people, because there's gonna be a lot of those people in life, and, <laughs> You start thinking that way about everything that they have said or, you know, throughout those people. You're going to waste a lot of time on somebody who is a small part of your life. So that's when I say, you know, it's okay to be upset, but just move on. Just accept the fact that 
you know, they have upset you, but tolerate them because they're a small chunk, you know? And uh, tolerate doesn't mean accept them. Tolerate means just deal with it, kind of. You know, because that's a lot easier than being frustrated with them. And it takes less time than to just move on, you know, accept it, move on with life. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. So, just to clarify, and yeah, so I hope you guys like these. You know, I'm, there's more stuff to come. I have a lot of stuff like this, like I said in the last video. And this has just gone a little bit too far, but this is what the videos and what I'm going to be doing, you know, making videos about. Because stuff like this and, you know, topics of the, you know, of the same cloth, and, you know, threads of the same cloth, have come up to me all the time and I think about stuff like this a lot and you know I don't know how many hours me and the cameraman or me and Ben have spent talking about these various subjects and topics you know so and, and really in depth so you know look forward to them and if you liked it if you like both these videos hit the like button and subscribe I'll see y'all when I have the next topic at, the next topic at hand. So y'all have a good day. I'm out.